right, Alice, here's the start of your kitty cat cage. Here's your second story. There'll be a bed and carrier under here. I've um, outlined the kitty door in white duct tape, so it's very easy for them to see. And also, it's no longer sharp. I put um, a lot around it because I had to cut the, the very sharp pieces but they're completely dull like there's you couldn't begin to hurt yourself at this point it's really especially where their feet go I did it really thick so that's a scoop and then there'll be of course another door on this one this is their way in and out this is the kitty's house which has a big sign on it in a minute that's gonna say only open if Sammy's on the other side and then the slide through the cages will clip together at the tops and the bottoms so that the slide through can go like that and then they can clean the other side and give them food and litter and stuff over here and then when you arrive when they arrive i'm going to provide them with little clips and you're going to clip make sure they do this you're going to clip the slide through on so there's no way for them to come out and then they just take the cage and go and i'll provide two slide throughs just in case this one needs one also in case somebody's on that side but Obviously, whatever side Sammy's on is where you need to slide through, and the other cats can be loaded into carriers because they're chill. Um, anyway, that's the plan. That's your cage situation so far. It's my tools. I'm going to send that bed home with you. You paid for it. It was like $30. And I'm going to send the legs home so that you can um, have it. And then the cages, I want you to donate them to the local, sh the local shelter. Um, so, or you can keep them or one of them if you think you might need it, which is not a bad idea. If you kept bedding in there and fed them in there all the time, just opened it and fed them, you'd get them in the habit of going in. And then anytime you need to take Sammy somewhere, I mean, I know it's big, so that's a pain. You need two people to carry it, but you just clip on the door, you know, you can hold it up here and just drop it and, uh, you can get them anywhere. If you ever needed to do that in the future you could also take it apart it lays flat and um, take the bed out and you'd have to cut the bed off but um, then you have enough you know I don't know how big your house is gonna be but if you have a spare room and you can do that that's great it also works if you attach it to the side of your house and it's an outdoor little cage um, to a cat door but you have to be very careful because a cat will push out so it needs to be physically attached to your house with like clips or bolts or something but you know a cat they could use this as a little outdoor area if you had a cat door to it or a window to it or whatever so that's a thought also but don't trust your kitties not to push their way out because they absolutely will it would have to be completely attached as these two cages will be but maybe you can use some of the parts to do something cool at your house or maybe you can even use both of them um all right that's your kitty mail